tunasema kwa Kiswahili hadhi ya binadamu in line with these national values what KRA is doing to ensure that we are supporting persons with disability is giving what we call tax exemptions last year in the last financial year we gave exemptions to more we gave uh, 120 taxpayers were granted tax exemption worth 122.9 million so we had more than 120 taxpayers who were granted tax exemptions and we are going to have a team here who are going to mention about these exemption the types of exemption be it tax or be it customs so the authority has provided tax exemptions for persons with disability in line with the persons with disability income tax deduction and exemptions order 2010 legal notice number 36 of 2010 also in line with this value of human dignity uh, KRA has provided facilities for staff living with disabilities including lifts so at KRA we have what we call talking lifts if we have a blind person coming to KRA we have talking lifts so those lifts can guide you to the floor that you want to go we also have access ramps so person with disability can also access our building because we have those access ramps we have parking also that can accommodate person with disability and at the same time we have sign language interpreters as you can see i want to appreciate our sign language interpreters please can you stand up where you are KRA sign language interpreters KRA has employed sign language interpreters who are meant to support the deaf the deaf community also on this value of uh, equity equity is a value in the uh, in the constitution and as KRA we've aligned to this value nasema kwa Kiswahili usawa and equity is about fairness is about impartiality justice equal access to national resources and opportunities so in the last financial year we had 246.6 million worth of contracts awarded so KRA implemented the access to government procurement opportunities in its award of contracts to the special groups we have the women the youth the persons with living with disability so almost 246.6 million was granted to this the, uh, was granted to women the youth and also persons with disability so i want to urge us when these contracts are advertised by KRA as the deaf community access these opportunities so that you can be given contracts to supply a couple of items to KRA we also have the uh, the value of equality nasema kwa Kiswahili ni ulingano which we able to align with our processes and about equality this means each individual or group of people is given the same resources or opportunities so i'd said earlier in terms of um, tenders we need to seek for these opportunities and also KRA has been able to employ persons with disability some of them are uh, physically challenged we have staff who are blind who work for the authority we have staff who are deaf so KRA is an equal opportunity employer Whenever time you see KRA advertising for opportunities, please feel free to advertise to apply for these opportunities. And also we have said language appraisers who are going to support you in one way or another. When you're attending your classes, they'll be able to support you. Another value in the constitution that we have is called non-discrimination. Kutobagua. KRA, we are on the forefront and we are not discriminating on anybody as you can see at least i can learn i learned basic sign language and our staff also have been capacity builded to learn basic sign language so majority of our staff from domestic taxes from customs from marketing and communication they are well equipped with basic sign language and every time you come to our office you'll be well facilitated you'll not be discriminated so non-discrimination of course refers to fairness uh, in treating people without prejudice irrespective of their gender ethnic class religious race geographical or even generational differences so we have 12 sign language interpreters these are specialists sign language interpreters who have been employed by KRA 12 sign language interpreters but again 
We've, we've trained our officers to learn basic sign language. So we have more than 100 staff who have been trained in KRA to learn basic sign language apart from the experts that we have who are six. Again, also in terms of what KRA has done to ensure that uh, we don't discriminate on anyone, whenever time KRA advertises for jobs opportunities, we always put some opportunities, not just in English or Kiswahili, but at the same time, in terms of maybe for the blind staff, we normally post information that is written in Braille. And that information is always translated. So it's written in blame, Braille, the same time it's translated in English or Kiswahili to ensure that it reaches out to various people. Protection of the marginalized is another value that we have in the constitution that KRA has been able to align with. Inikulinda kuni lililo telekezwa. So all persons are equal before the law and have a right to equal protection and benefit of the law, regardless of their ethnic, social group, origin, race, or any other status. And as I said earlier, KRA has established facilities and structures to enable access to services by persons with disability, including upgraded or refurbished facilities. For instance, also we have a KRA TV, and uh, we can access KRA TV via our website through www.kra uh, TV. And we have a sign language interpreter in all our programs, be it in tax, be it in customs, be it uh, on matters tax education. We always ensure that uh, we have a deaf interpreter to facilitate all of us. So last but not least, Kere is really emphasizing on ethics and integrity in what we do. There are circumstance, some circumstances whereby we have part of disability who at times allow themselves to be used by others to seek exemptions. Others even fake that they have disability but they want to be used by others. So we want to inform you that uh, we have an intelligence team who collect intelligence, and that's why we always emphasize that you do assessments. We get the right assessment so that you can be facilitated. So don't allow yourself to be used by anyone. Because if you allow yourself to be used by anyone, you'll find yourself culpable. So let's uphold ethics and integrity Let's conduct ourselves with utmost dignity and decorum, and at the end of the day, we'll be well supported and we'll be well facilitated. Our core values in KRA is uh, being text. One of them, uh, text means being trustworthy. And by us being trustworthy, we want to walk our talk. What we say what we do will be in line with what we are expected by the authority and also by the taxpayers. So another value is being helpful. We are dedicated to be helpful and to support taxpayers. We are competent. We understand our business processes and that's why we have officers who are experts and they are going to tell us more about exemptions be it matters to do with VAT, pay as you earn, taxes, among other things. Being simple, Kere, we are trying to simplify our processes so that we can reach out to our taxpayers. We don't want to use jargon or complicated words. We normally have tax club in various institutions. But I recommend probably we need to have a tax club in uh, deaf institutions so that it can be easier for the team from the deaf institutions to learn about taxation when they are still young. We normally have tax club in the universities and other schools, but uh, we need to incorporate tax clubs in our deaf institutions and simplify these processes to enable them as they grow, they be able to understand what really tax is. So that's what I heard for us. I believe that uh, we are going to conduct ourselves with utmost dignity and decorum and let's mainstream ethics and integrity what we do. Thank you very much.
something on what Carol has been explaining to you, you have questions, you're free to ask her. Ask her every question you have. If you have any question, raise your hand, ask, ask and you'll be answered in this. So welcome. Sorry, there's a gentleman at the back. I, can I come on the front so that you see me? We suggest you come on the front. Hi, everyone. Still insist I come on the pulpit? Okay. My name is Daniel. This is my sign name. I have a question uh, to the KRA. Persons who've registered with KRA and have gotten a KRA pin, and then it happens that uh, they don't get a job in close to one year, they have filed. Can you be able to explain around that? They got a pin, but in a year's time they've never filed. How do we go about that? Or oh, there's another question. Do we continue the questions and then? Right. Because um, we have a team that is going to train us about taxation and also about his question. I'm requesting that uh, we allow our team to present first because we have a team, our special experts, our subject matter experts from customs, from domestic tax. They are going to present about what he has just mentioned. And then after they present, it will be easier for you to respond because they are going to touch on various areas. But if we focus now on ask, responding to questions, we may, we may miss what they're expected to present to us. So are we in agreement that they present first, then we ask questions? Okay. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Peter Mwangi, my sign name is Forehead. Previously, I was working in government, then later on I withdrew, I resigned, but I'd gotten a care pin. So what happens? Can I get a tax exemption? Should I be paying around that? Another question. My team, do you want to respond right now? Later. Okay, we are requesting that we just put those questions in the parking box and we are going to respond because I want you to understand first our processes for exemptions and then be able to respond to those questions, isn't it? Okay, thank you. We've noted them down. 